guys and welcome back to my channel so i am actually on my way to go thrift shopping i don't know that i've actually ever gone thrift shopping in la so this is going to be new for me i'm actually pretty excited i don't have a ton of extra money to spend so this will definitely be thrift shopping on a budget but i think it's gonna be fun i'm excited Continue also on van nuys boulevard for one and a half miles cool thank you very much um but yeah i'm just gonna be taking you guys along with me we're gonna be kind of finding out what some of the better thrift shops in la might be so yeah i will see you guys when i get there all right, so our first stop is called Second Street. Now, when I walked in, I was super excited. It was a nice size. It looked like they had quite a bit of cute stuff. But then as I started looking, even though I was finding some cute things, I wasn't too impressed with the prices. Because even something like this, honestly, it was pretty thin. And it was $23, which I feel like for secondhand clothing is kind of expensive. And then like with the shoes, like these are really cute and all. But... It's just so expensive and I just, I wasn't expecting that. They still had some cute things, although these shoes I'm rather confused by, but I did end up finding a couple pairs of pants. It was really hard because I am very tall. I'm almost 5'10", but these two look like they would potentially be long enough for me. So I grabbed those and then I headed into the dressing room just to check and see. But okay, these pants are Shein pants. And they were charging $33 for these. I was like, what? Because on the Shein website, I guarantee these would be like $20. So them charging $33, I was like, okay, that's a little ridiculous. And this top I thought was cute, but it just wasn't totally my vibe. So I decided not to get that. Then I tried on these pants. And these ones honestly had a pretty good fit. I just don't really know that I'd ever like wear them that much that they'd be worth the $33 for secondhand clothing. I'm like, hmm. I think I'm okay. They're cute though, but I don't know. Just them being orange, I was kind of like, eh, I'm fine. So I ended up heading over to Buffalo Exchange. Okay, so we are on our way somewhere else. We are going to a Goodwill. <laughs> We're gonna see if we have better luck there. I didn't really film too much while I was at Buffalo Exchange because frankly, I mean, I knew going into it that the prices were high, but sometimes you'll still just find such a good item that it makes it worth it because I mean the prices aren't ridiculous but it's still like I mean for second hand kind of pricey especially because I mean I was seeing stuff in there like Zara and misguided and places like that that are literally like already fairly cheap like decently priced items but they were charging like $16 for one tank top and I'm like I feel like if I bought it brand new, it would be $16, maybe 20. But I was like, okay. So we're gonna be going to Goodwill and we're gonna be trying that instead and see if we have better luck there. Like the lowest things that they have priced clothing wise is $4.99, so $5. And I'm just like, what? Hey guys, okay, so I am Future Chloe. I'm currently editing, and I just felt like I didn't really explain very well why I was so taken back by these prices. Cause I don't know, I just felt like there might be people watching that are gonna be really confused why I'm so taken back by like five bucks for a shirt because in the grand scheme of things that is decently cheap but you have to understand i'm from nebraska and so growing up the thrift stores i would go to they would have bag days where as much as you could fit in a walmart sack you could take for like two bucks or five bucks whatever it was but it was like a couple dollars and it was like whoo like those were the best days and then a lot of times like tank tops and shirts and stuff were like between 50 cents to two dollars in that range so i'm just used to those prices so i just thought i'd say that because i know like a lot of times for thrift stores the money does go to good causes so i don't want to seem cheap and like i don't want to give my money to those causes it's more so that i was just like whoa when they're like this shirt is like 
$7.99 and I'm like, this shirt that I'm wearing was $6.50 and I bought this brand new. So yeah, just thought I'd say that because I just felt like I didn't really explain that at any point in time. I found a couple things that I think are cute. Go back there. I don't think I'm gonna get them though. Like this flat, I think it's like kind of cute. Like I mean, I found like a plain tank. I don't think this will be tight on me though. So I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna get it. But even like, okay, white beater. Like basically, what I wanted it for was to crop it, but it's five dollars. And you can go to Target and get a pack of five for $9.99. So I'm like, so I don't know. The one thing I'm kind of considering is this pair of jeans. They look like they're in pretty good condition. And then I would just cut them. But I don't know. They're $10, which isn't awful. But I'm just like, I don't know. Mm. Okay, so I'm back to my car now, and I don't know, I, I'm i not really sure what to do. I might look up some other places that I could go. I don't know, I tried Googling like best cheap thrift stores in LA, and like that first spot I went to was one that was recommended. I can't think off the top of my head what else was, but I know that one was, and I went there, and that one was pretty expensive. At least, okay. For somebody from a small town, let me know if any of y'all are looking at these prices thinking, what in the world? So, I don't know. We'll see what I do. All right, so I ended up deciding to go to the mall and that was for one reason specifically and that was to go to Abercrombie because I just found out that they have their jeans in extra long. So I need to get a pair, but I wasn't sure what waist size I was. So I ended up trying on these 24 inch ones and oh my gosh, they fit so perfect. Obviously the length, wasn't ideal, I'm definitely not gonna get these ones specifically, but the waist fits so good. I love the fit of them, the comfort. They are just really nice jeans. Then I ended up going over to H&M because they have some nice basics and their stuff is always such a great price. So I ended up picking up a couple things and then going into the dressing room. Then I tried on this top first and this one I liked so much. I don't have anything in this orange color and I really liked the rib material. So I did actually end up picking up this top because I mean, it was only like $3 if I remember correctly. So I love that. Then I tried on these tank tops and unfortunately the white one was see-through and I wasn't sure what I'd be able to wear underneath it. But I tried on the black and the black I really like and I really, really like the neckline. I think it looks so good. But I wasn't sure about the length of these. I may end up going back at some point to get them. But this top, it's so cute. It's just very, very see-through. So I unfortunately didn't get that. Then lastly, I tried on this dress, which I thought was super cute. I loved the back on it. I thought the green color was so, so pretty. I just, I didn't have an occasion to wear it too. So I decided not to get it just to not spend extra money for no reason, but I do think it's super cute. So if you're interested, highly recommend going. Then I just hopped over to Zara and did get a couple things there. Hey guys, okay, so I am home now. It's actually been like hours, it's hours later. But I'm gonna go through everything I got. And actually, okay, so today obviously didn't go quite as planned. I was of course hoping to actually buy more but unfortunately the thrift stores that i went to were definitely a bust i think next time because i mean i'm not just gonna give up on la thrift stores but i do think next time i'm gonna try out new ones i'm gonna like do some research online beforehand to like look up what the good ones are and the ones that maybe are a little bit cheaper and everything so okay basically going through the couple things i got so first we went into h m and i actually only ended up getting this orange top which I really like this. It's something that I don't have. I don't think I own anything in orange besides a swimsuit. And I think that's it. So it's just like something different. I think this would look really cute with like some baggy jeans with some white shoes, a white purse. Like I just think it'd be so cute and it was $3. Obviously there were a couple more things at H&M that I did like, but like for instance, those tanks, but because those were long, I kind of opted out of getting those because I like to wear high-waisted jeans and I feel like with those long tanks it overlaps and then I feel like some of you are gonna know what I'm talking about but like where the pockets are on the pants and everything it just looks then bunchy 
where the shirt is over it. So I'm like, I don't like the look of that. So I would want it to be slightly cropped. So I opted out of getting those because I knew I would want to crop them anyway. And I was like, I think I'll be able to find tanks like that, like similar style that are just already slightly more cropped. So I don't have to cut them and it look kind of jank. Well, then I go to Zara and look at what I find, which I haven't actually tried these on because the lines for the fitting rooms were so long. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. They look like they're going to fit. I'm a roll with it. Usually I would get an extra small depending on the brand. I've actually never bought anything from Zara ever. So I don't know how their stuff fits. So it's a little risky, but I can always return it. But basically I haven't tried this on. So I'll insert like a clip here of me trying it on, but I got this in white. I'm so happy. I've been wanting a shirt like this for so long, but anytime I see them, they're always like to see through like this of course like white is kind of hard to make not see through but like i feel like this isn't this isn't too see through like of course you can see my hand like the imprint but actually like sheerness wise it's pretty decent and this was only 690. then okay they didn't have the black in a small so i got green this looks very different on camera. Like the color looks way different in person than it does on camera. But basically then I got this shirt, which I just think it's something like new and different. I don't own anything in this color. And I just think it's really pretty. Obviously this color is definitely like trending right now. It has been for like the last year, but again, it was 690, super excited about this. And that was everything. I know it wasn't a lot. Again, I was definitely hoping to have more, but unfortunately those stores were a fail but yeah so that is my video i hope you guys enjoyed i am so sorry if you were hoping for me to actually get more i hope i got enough footage in the stores for you to kind of get a feel of if it might be your vibe or not because just because i didn't find something doesn't mean you won't we could have very different styles so you could be seeing stuff in my clips that you're like oh my god that shirt is so cute or those shoes or whatever that you might have seen in the background that I wasn't even looking at that caught your eye and you're like well like I would love those I would rock those with this and this and this that I have in my wardrobe whereas with me I don't have things in my wardrobe that worked with that so I didn't even think about it so yeah but that is all I hope you guys enjoyed I love you and I will see you guys in my next video bye